Hello, everybody. I am Divine Mother, and welcome to my crab show. Um, today, I wanted to um, just kind of touch bases with everyone about where I've been at mentally with things. Um, so last night, I had a wonderful meditative state, uh, and I was able to sing and purge and get out a lot of much needed emotions. Um, and I feel like a load has been lifted, a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. So I am truly grateful for that meditative se uh, session last night. Uh, the Most High is really opening up some doors in my heart and my mind about um, myself. I'm learning a lot about um, things that I wouldn't necessarily say they are bad, but they're not for my highest good habits that I have formed over time. Um, so I'm learning about time management and um, I'm really, really focusing on my organizational skills, um, especially with starting this new business. Um, I am really, 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 my main focuses are to get my to-do list done and focus on my time management, um, especially having ADHD and bipolar disorder. On, with bipolar disorder, like, okay, let me explain something. When you have bipolar, when you're manic, you get shit done. I mean, you're, you have like superhuman powers. It feels like, like you're, I, I mean, there's times where I would get no sleep. I'd be up all night writing, uh, typing up new things, um, um, doing new business plans. Like, like all these different ideas will come to me. Like, and part of that is, uh, as a spiritual ascension too, but we won't even get into that on this. Um, I'll save that for my other channel. Um, however, um, when you're on the low end of bipolar, which is the depression side, that is, it, it's, a, it's debilitating, it's immobilizing, like you have a very hard time just coaxing yourself to get out of bed to use the bathroom. Like, that's how heavy your body feels, your mind is sore, your thoughts are just so down in the dumps, like all you can think about is despair. And that is the worst time when, especially when you're working for yourself and you have to get stuff done, you have to meet your own deadlines. You don't have nobody pushing you. You have to push yourself. Um, so that is the challenging part that I'm learning right now is time management and pushing myself and not making excuses for me not getting things done. Because if I was at a job, I would get reamed out for it. So I have to, you know, be the boss and be the employee at the same time and kick my own self in the ass. So, um, to get things done, um, it's that along with raising children. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a constant struggle, but it can be done. It's a constant struggle but it can be done. And I just want to encourage you, you know, like, especially when you um, have these so-called disabilities. And the reason I say so-called disabilities is because yes, they are debilitating in some ways. However, you can look at it for, as the glass being half full. I looked at my uh, conditions as a disability. Now I look at them as my strengths because in the same way that other people can't look at things the way that I look at them, I can't look at things the way or do things the way they do things. So I'm able to do come up with creative ideas that allow me to work for myself. I'm able to come up with everyday hustles that, you know, can get me through life. Like I'm able to do those things because I do think outside of the box. However, now I want to capitalize off them immensely, all of my gifts and talents. So, um, and I said this on another video, if you have some sort of mental illness or mental condition, there's something that you're extraordinary at, you may see or you may not see yet, but I would encourage you to find out what that gift is because I guarantee you, you have one thing that you can do better than anyone else you know. Try it and see. And once you try it, figure out what that skill is and practice, 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 hone in on it. Because nine times out of 10, 
That's your path. That's your destiny. That's what you're meant to walk down because your strength, your, your disability, if studied hard enough, can become your greatest strength. And then where's the disability? Exactly. Um, I truly believe people who have mental illness are light workers and they think outside of the box and most of them are empaths. A lot of the people that I've met with mental illness are empaths. They are able to feel the things that other people don't feel from other people. And they're nine times out of 10 more genuine people than some of those so-called normal people. <laughs> so uh, I am Divine Mother. If this is your first time tuning in, this is my crab shell. Thank you so much. If you like the content of this video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. If you want notification on all my most recent content, you want that computer to ding and say, hey, she got some new stuff out, go ahead and hit that notification bell and you will be updated on all my most recent content. Many thanks for your time. Namaste.